Hi, it's Dwyer, digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Always 1776.com, a free site. Today is April the 19th, 2021. It's a big day, one of the biggest days in history for cryptocurrency. Let's talk about it. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, not all governments are created equally, right? The government of China, one of the world's biggest countries, a government with authoritarian power in China, right? Has issued a statement through the deputy governor of the People's Bank of China, a gentleman named Li Bo, right? He has issued a statement that we regard Bitcoin and stablecoin as crypto assets. These are investment alternatives. Let me repeat that. We regard Bitcoin and stablecoin as crypto assets. These are investment alternatives. Well, the market hasn't realized it yet. I'm noticing the price of Bitcoin is flat. But Bitcoin, which is a store of value, right? It's not a coin used as a means of exchange. It's a store of value. It's different than Bitcoin Cash or Dash, right? Bitcoin should be going off at a premium right now. The price of Bitcoin should be skyrocketing right now. What China, a country that has a huge percentage of the Bitcoin miners, right, and a country that quite frankly has a huge economy that's growing in this era of stagflation, internationally, right? What China's telling you is that they're going to allow legally their people, the Chinese, to hold Bitcoin. Now, the world might not fully appreciate this, but China has a lot of people with a lot of disposable income. China has a lot of millionaires. Look it up. Right? If the investment class starts buying Bitcoin in China openly, right? They already have Bitcoin, but if they start buying Bitcoin openly, if people with power start to invest a part of their portfolio in Bitcoin and Bitcoin becomes a major holding of the elite, then it will be very difficult for the Chinese government to later withdraw recognition of Bitcoin as an investment alternative, right? The Chinese government's embrace of Bitcoin as an investment alternative should give Michael Saylor the easy win over Frank Gustra in their debate on Bitcoin versus gold. Folks, Bitcoin now has recognition from the Chinese government. This is as big as it gets. So the odds of Bitcoin being shut down, right, by the Chinese government in the future has dropped precipitously. It's still there, it's still a tail risk but it's dropped precipitously because the Chinese people are going to start to rely on Bitcoin. Chinese merchants and in international trades are going to start to rely on Bitcoin, right? People are going to start to hold their reserves in Bitcoin, cash reserves, as they are here in the United States with companies like Tesla and MicroStrategy. So what 
the Bitcoin investor needs to realize is that Bitcoin is different than Bitcoin Cash, than these other cryptos, right, that are used as a means of exchange. Also, this leaves the door open for the Chinese government to crack down on the world of DeFi, right, because they might view DeFi as an attempt to have a currency to rival the yuan. But what the Chinese government has done in the last 24 hours is made the decision that Bitcoin isn't a yuan rival, that Bitcoin is actually a legitimate investment alternative. So, again, Incredibly, Bitcoin is still going off at about $55,000 a coin, right? I'm just telling you sometimes when the biggest announcements are made in crypto, it takes weeks for the market to realize it. I remember when Dash debuted the Masternode concept and the price remained flat. Today, you have one of the most groundbreaking big time announcements in the world of crypto, right? Folks, it's huge and the market doesn't appreciate it. I encourage everyone to look up Lebo, the deputy governor of the People's Bank of China's comments. The quote is, we regard Bitcoin and stablecoin as crypto assets. These are investment alternatives. Understand, you're about to have more than a billion Chinese people competing with other international buyers for Bitcoin, right? With regard to stable coins, we understand that those stable coins, of course, are coins like Tether and other coins that are supposed to be tethered to fiat currency. So, of course, China does not consider coins that are tethered to fiat currency from other countries to be threats to their financial paradigm, right? But the cryptocurrencies that are not tethered to fiat currencies, in other words, the vast majority of cryptocurrencies, especially those that enable the decentralized finance system, right? Those don't have the blessing of the Chinese government. I encourage everyone to carefully review the Deputy Governor of the People's Bank of China's comments. This is a watershed moment for Bitcoin. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.